So today I'm going to make a recipe for one of my family's favorite Sunday meals. And this is an herb crusted prime rib. It's really easy because all it involves is a food processor, a five to seven pound rib roast, and a grill. That's it. I love prime rib. Why? It's got lots of great, delicious internal marbling that makes it a really succulent roast. So I've gone with a two bone, bone in prime rib. This is an ideal size for my family. If your family is bigger or smaller, adjust accordingly. I very rarely measure, but it's about a quarter cup for every herb you want to use. And so today I'm using rosemary because rosemary and beef, of course, naturally goes really well together. Uh, some parsley that wasn't looking so pretty in my fridge. And then I add in the things that I love. Garlic, oh my gosh, beef and garlic, what a pairing. So Dijon mustard for me works really well. Canola oil, that'll help bring everything all to the party. And then salt and pepper. And this is where you actually wanna be fairly generous with salt and pepper, because beef loves salt and pepper. And then whiz the daylights out of it. I mean, it's so simple. All you do, take it out of the food processor, and smear it all over the prime rib. And what you're gonna eventually see is that this herbage that's going on here is gonna make a crust on the outside. We just want a completely coated prime rib. So this beautiful herb marinade has been slacked all over here. And you know, it's been hanging out for about, about half an hour now as we get the grill all warmed up. And now we're gonna go to the grill indirect. So we're gonna put it there nice and happy. So you'll notice that this knob, this knob, and this knob are off, and this one is up high, so it's sitting about 550, 600 degrees right now. That carryover temperature is gonna be about 250 degrees right here, because we want this you know, beautiful, gorgeous prime rib to cook indirect over many, many, many minutes. It's gonna be delicious, it's gonna be flavorful, and it's so easy to do. All you have to do now is close the lid. So we're just gonna come and check on our herb crusted prime rib. Uh, it's been about 30 minutes. And as you can see, we're just starting to see some color and it gets a little drier. You know, right where that fat cap is, it's already starting to melt down a bit. So it's starting to pull back a little bit, which is great. And we're gonna, you know, basically shut the lid and forget about it for another 30 minutes. Come on back and visit it again. That's it. Okay, so our prime rib has been on for a couple of hours now. It's the right temperature. Look at that delicious succulent color. It's juicy. It's oh, dripping with beefy, herby goodness at this point. But the most important step we're gonna do next, um, it's really, really important. You spent all this time investing on cooking and grilling this beautiful prime rib. You need to let your meat rest. Notice it's not tight. Let it chill out for a good 10 to 15 minutes. Then we're gonna come back and slice it. You know, our prime rib has been resting for a good 15 minutes now. We've got some juices that have accumulated. I'm gonna show you how to cut a prime rib. Basically, the first step you wanna do is take it off the bone. So make a diagonal cut all the way through the bottom and get that bone off. Now, if you have somebody who likes gnawing on ribs, this is a good time to hand those bones off to somebody because there's some good bits to eat on there. Then you wanna just cut it into slices. Now, a lot of that beautiful herbage is gonna go on your cutting board. So I actually serve directly from the cutting board because you know what? I want that shrapnel that's there. I want those little bits. They're delicious. So this gorgeous prime rib goes really well with the DVQ Diablo sauce. It goes great with grilled carrots. And of course, who doesn't love beef and potatoes? So check out this recipe for potatoes with parsley and parmesan done on the grill. For more tips, tricks, and all sorts of awesome barbecue and grilling items, make sure you subscribe to our channel, because life is way too short for bad barbecue.